in the previous video I showed you how to use the input statement uh, this time around I'm gonna show you how to use the prompt statement uh, the prompt statement is quite similar to the input statement but uh, you can only do so much with it so let's dive into it first go to app navigate to program editor okay and we are going to create a new one so I just want to show you something really quick if I were to uh, if I if I try to name this program prompt is uh, not gonna go through and the reason for that is because uh, prompt is considered a reserved uh, word or a keyword so those words are only specific to uh, the programming language so you can never use those for uh, for your variable names or program names or even functions okay so we can uh, put a, a prompt statement so PST I'm just gonna do that PST press enter twice okay so anything I would be putting in uh, within a uh, uh, between program and end program that's going to be my code okay so I'm just gonna put some uh, extra space just uh, to make it easier for myself okay so the prompt statement can be accessed by uh, going through the catalog or you can uh, just type it as well okay so I'm just gonna go to catalog and show you that so just remember if uh, there is any functions that you know for sure the calculator has but uh, for some reason you cannot find it in the menus the, you, can, you can just uh, go to catalog and it's gonna have all the functions there and uh, once you start uh, typing the word you, you can just uh, put the first letter of the word and it's gonna uh, make it a lot easier for you to look at that specific function so if you keep scrolling down I think I already passed it okay so it should be yeah there you go so prompt is over here and if you press F1 then uh, you have var1 comma then it has uh, this etc etc or dot 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 so that just means that so in order uh, the syntax for the prompt statement is going to be a prompt space var1 so that's variable 1 space variable 2 etc etc so you can put uh, uh, the uh, number of variable you wanna uh, use okay so I'm just gonna click enter okay and before I even do that, remember in my last video, I like to, uh, for the mo uh, I often like to put a clear I.O. So that is just going to get rid of uh, any previous work I was doing uh, before. Okay, so whenever we launch this program, it's always going to open it in a new window. So that's what the clear I.O. does. Okay, so once again, I'm probably going to be uh, I'm repeating myself a lot throughout these videos just uh, because that's, uh, that's the way you, uh, you can be good at something, repetition, okay? So prompt, as uh, you might remember, the syntax is going to be prompt space var1 space. I mean, uh, prompt var1, which is variable one space variable two. Okay, so we can just we can name our var variable anything, but uh, let's just do our a b c. Okay, so a is going to be the name of the first variable. Okay, and b is going to be second, and c is going to be the third one. Okay, so you just uh, declare this variable right now. Okay. So now, what are we going to do with these variables? Just like in the previous video, we are going to do um, some simple math, some simple uh, uh, calculation with them. So if I go to enter, if I go to the, uh, if I press enter and go to the next line, I can just, uh, you know, I can do about anything I want with these uh, variables here. So I can do a uh, uh, display. Okay. So remember the display. Let's see display is gonna output everything on the uh, display for you and uh, if you want to have like a sentence or something like that a string then uh, you would want to put uh, that kind of uh, expression or you know uh, in uh, within a quotation if you want to put let's say uh, uh, my name is uh, blah 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 or my age is you can put all those stuff in a, within a quotation but if you are just going to display numbers or result then uh, you can just uh, use a display without opening a quotation mark you can put a a plus b plus c again these are very basics i'm not gonna go over uh, the complicated stuff just yet okay so we have three lines here so the first line is gonna make sure our program opens to a new window it's gonna erase every previous work we were doing earlier and the second line prompt is gonna prompt the user to enter three numbers okay so and it's gonna uh, uh, it's going to um, save uh, those uh, numbers or those inputs into uh, the respective uh, the respective uh, variable so the first number is going to be stored in a 
second is going to be stored in B and the third is going to be stored in A okay and the last line display is going to uh, display the result so A plus B plus C so it's gonna add those three numbers and display the result for us it could be negative it could be minus okay let's just do that let's do a uh, uh, minus and uh, let's just do this just to see uh, what what kind of uh, thing we are going to get okay so my program should be uh, running just fine okay I can just get rid of the extra space you know just uh, to keep everything uh, nice and clean okay so I can go to home now and remember to launch your program you just gotta put the program's name so PST open and close the parentheses press enter and it's gonna take you here as you can see it displays a it displays the name of the variable and you put a, a question mark next to it that means it is waiting for your uh, your input so I'm gonna put a 8 and uh, it does the same for B 5 and uh, that's the same for C as well 4 and what it does is gonna take a 8 minus 5 which is 3 and then uh, it's gonna do a, a minus a 4 okay so it's gonna be 3 minus 4 so that is negative 1 okay so that's uh, the uh, prompt statement for you if you have any questions just make sure you put in the comment section